Hi, I'm Salil Desai. I work in Sagita Bhatia's lab at the Koch Institute and Mehmet Toner's lab at Massachusetts General Hospital. So what I'm trying to understand is essentially how cells move and uh, it's a phenomenon called uh, chemotaxis, which is essentially the directed migration uh, of cells in response to a chemical gradient. So in cancer, these processes of chemotaxis are thought to be reprogrammed um, to help the tumor disseminate cells within the body. To, and these cancer cells that get to different sites in the body are really what um, cause a large majority of deaths in cancer. You sort of all know from high school biology that the mitochondria is the, the powerhouse of the cell, so something that is generating the energy. Uh, and to sort of use a, um, a more colloquial analogy, uh, we want to see if, you know, what type of um, drive uh, do these cells have? Is it like a front wheel drive, uh, a back wheel drive, or an all wheel drive type system that's actually pushing these cells forward? And by looking at the mitochondria, we can sort of get a sense of, of you know, the dynamics of this sort of very complex process. This is sort of a, a way to um, study this process in vitro. So we'd like to build an artificial system that would mimic uh, the conditions in a body, say, both in terms of what type of cues the cell would get to um, initiate this process of migration and chemotaxis and also the confinements that it would see and the challenges that it would face while trying to move. So what we see in this image are these hourglass shaped channels, which I'm drawing here. Um, what you don't see in the image are these other channels that link all these hourglass shaped channels, which I'm drawing now. Um, so there's a top and a bottom one. So in the top one, we introduce the cells and they're happily flowing along this way. But we can induce them to flow into these hourglass shaped channels by introducing a flow this way. And then the cell gets stuck like so in the constrictions and then it can spread out and move in these channels and we can even collect it in this bigger channel later on. And so what we're looking at is are these little tiny dots that I'm drawing now that are the mitochondria in the cells, and we're trying to see how they're spatially localized in the cells as they move. And we're hoping that provides us a window into the fundamental mechanics of migration of the cells.